These are plate mount CoStar stabilizers. CoStar stabilizers are used less frequently now and are usually found in older keyboards. That is unless you are a fan of iQunit's keyboards as I am inside most of which you will find CoStar stabilizers. They differ from plate mount cherry stabilizers in a few ways. Cherry stabilizers have full housings. The stems are inserted into those housings from underneath in the correct orientation. A straight wire is then inserted into the stems through the housings from below or above depending on their orientation in the keyboard and are clipped into the housing. When assembled, the stabilizers will have some slack and movement but will hold together as a unit when not installed in the keyboard. CoStar stabilizers are much more stripped back. I can't find the correct names for the parts in CoStar stabilizers, so I will have to make them up. Instead of full housings, CoStar stabilizers use rails only. These provide lateral stability on the vertical plane when looking down on the keyboard, but they don't provide any stability on the horizontal plane. The switches provide stability on the horizontal plane, holding the stems in the rails. Instead of full stems, CoStars use these, which are essentially a Cherry MX insert with a small off-centered slotted tab underneath. These tabs run up and down the rails with a close tolerance to eliminate rotation of the keycap as you look down on it. The wires hook into the stems from the sides and run up and down the slot when the key is pressed and released. CoStar stabilizers are generally less popular in the keyboard community, largely due to the perceived lack of options in terms of modding to improve their sound and feel. CoStar stabilizers will generally sound and feel better when stock or pre-lubed than a set of cherry stabilizers in the same condition. However, after a few weeks of use, the lube will move and you will usually get a ticking when pressing on one end of the stabilized keycap. Usually this is worse on the spacebar. When this happens with cherry stabilizers, the issue is usually fixed longer term with a decent holy mod and lube job. But people seem to end up at a loss for what to do to get rid of this ticking long term with CoStar stabilizers and end up applying a short term fix by re-lubing. Good news is there is a mod which I believe will solve the only issue with CoStar stabilizers, which is the annoying ticking which usually develops at one end of the spacebar. This takes us to disassembly, which is another thing people don't like about CoStars. The best way to do this is to remove the keycaps and switches at either end of the stabilized key and above and below where the stabilizers sit to give you some room to work. Then you lift the keycap off the switch stem using a keycap puller as usual. Once the keycap is off the switch, you slide the keycap in either direction until the stem hits the right angle on the wire in the direction you're sliding it. Apply a little force to bend the wire which moves the opposite stem clear of the wire on the other end of the keycap. Lift the clear end up and clear of the stabilizer wire and then you can slide the keycap in the opposite direction to slide it off the other wire and then the keycap comes free. The thing to remember here is only to use as much force as necessary when you're bending the wire with essentially the stem, the slider in the stem, as you can snap the tabs off the bottom of those stems. The wire can then be removed from the rails and the rails removed from the plate by pinching them closed from the end without the clip. And then we're on to the mods. The way I identified the issue I was having with my CoStar stabilizers was to narrow it down to the only places the rattle could be occurring. It had to be one of the three things happening at the start of the keystroke as you can get the rattle to occur without fully pressing the key down. One, the rails impacting the plate. Two, the wire rattling where it clips into the rails or three, the wire rattling in the stem slot. The best way to mod any stabilizers is to do tests where you can to identify where the issue is or you can also eliminate what it is and isn't by applying the mods one at a time. If you hit it with three or four mods at once you won't know where the issue was and the unnecessary mods might introduce other issues or make the sound or feel of the stabilizers not so nice. The most common mod you see done on CoStars is to strategically place tape on the plate to reduce movement of the rails in the same way as you do with cherry stabilizers to reduce movement of the housings. This would solve the rattle if it was caused by the rails hitting the plate and it seemed like a likely cause due to how much play there is in the rails. The difference with CoStars is that the tape must be applied over the lip of the plate to be effective as under the clips alone isn't sufficient. The issue with placing tape over the lip is that it will pinch the rails in towards one another which will hinder how freely the stem travels up and down inside them. This depends obviously on the tape thickness but with the tape I used it pinched the rails in so much that it gripped the stems and held the space bar down even with tape only applied to one side of the rails. I decided to move away from this one and try something else. 
The next potential cause I looked into was the wires having enough movement in the clips in the rails that they could rattle here. This one is easy to test. While you have ticking, simply remove the keycap, remove the wire and lube the wire where it clips into the rails and the rail clips themselves. If when you put it back together the ticking is gone, you know this is the issue but it will return after the lube moves about with use. With the ticking gone after lubing these parts, I could write off the issue being the wire rattling in the stem slot and just moved on to the longer term permanent mod for the rattle that I'd found. I'd seen somewhere that people were using band-aids to support the underside of the wire to eliminate rattle. This both resolves the issue we have here which is the wire play in the clip by pushing the wire up and into the top of the wire clip but it also reduces play in the entire rail by pushing its clip up against the plate. So the way I decided to resolve this was to use thinner layers of band-aid tape instead of one thicker layer like a band-aid itself. The idea with this being that I could incrementally increase the amount of thickness to support the wire the correct amount from beneath to remove the play from both the wire in the clip and the rail in the plate. I tested the stabilizer after each layer of tape using various forces on the keycap at either end to try and get it to tick. If there was any ticking at all I would add another layer of tape. Once I got to six or seven layers I noted that the ticking had stopped and that the friction between the wire and tape had increased. To insert the wires I was having to physically push the wires down into the tape a little so I could see that they were getting a good amount of support from them. At this point it was time to lube everything for the final install. I applied a generous amount of lube to the top of the tape to get rid of the friction between it and the wire to allow the stabilizers to slide as freely as possible. I filled the slot of the stems with lube and lubed the edges of the tab which ride up and down in the rails. I lubed the rails themselves and the clips on the rails where the wires are secured. Then I finally lubed the wire where it contacted the stem slot, rail clips and the tape. Once reassembled there was no ticking or rattling of the spacebar, it was much smoother on the key press and it was much more responsive with no lag on the upward travel once released. This is a super easy mod which I'm confident will fix ticking on all CoStar stabilizers which is really good news for me because I'm a huge fan of iQnix keyboards and it means that I can apply this mod to all of those. I hope you found this helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.